Hey there, everybody. So, um, I'm going to continue my X-Men Legends playthrough. Uh, bear with me for a minute. No. Ready, I am back. Let's do this. So we're the last of the So my mic isn't coming in through the greatest, so I'm going to sit a little bit closer to it. For anyone in chat, please let me know if you are able to hear me clearly. I think it's, it's a little bit better. So where we last left off, Magma is now an X-Man. And now she can be a part of the missions. There are a few conversations that we need to have. Uh, let's see. I think I already got the danger room discs. And there's no one up here in the dormitory to talk to.
there are a few people that I want to talk to. Here's Nightcrawler. Ah, congratulations, Fräulein Christmere. I see that you have joined the X-Men. A little light reading, eh? St. Thomas Aquinas on politics and ethics. Ah, uh, yeah. You're an X-Man and you still feel lost? Oh, yeah. All this turmoil over Magneto and the mutants and humans, it makes my heart ache. I dislike the fact that we are all rational adults, and yet we still cannot live in peace. Do you read a lot? Yeah, I am at home among books. And I am guessing that you are too. How could you tell? I have found that people who read are able to look beyond the appearance of other people and see them for what they truly are. And you are such a person, yeah? Sort of like not judging a book by its cover. Indeed. There's much truth in that statement. I thoroughly agree with that. So you grew up in a circus? It was exciting and it was terrifying. And God was watching over me when the circus found me. For I would not have lived long anywhere else. What do you mean? <laughs> a furry blue child with a pointed tail has limited options in the outside world. But put him under the big top and he becomes is the amazing color. We know that he has battled a sentinel. Uh, I'll just try the audio here again to see what they say. Have you ever battled a sentinel? Ah, uh, I remember one in particular. The X-Men were summoned to New York. To help a friend in trouble, but then we realized we were the ones that were in I'm assuming that if you don't play the flashback the first time, this is the second chance you will get to do it. Um, off Vader Zane, <laughs> Nightcrawler. <laughs> it's your shirt. If I did not know better, I would think you are German. Off Vader Zane? Or uh, off Vader Zane, I think it's. it's uh, off Vader Zane. Wow, nice uniform. Look out, Jean Grey, here comes Allison Crestmere. Please, call me Magma. With Magneto on the loose, everyone around here is really uptight. Tell me about it. At lunch, I took the last ice cream sandwich, and Wolverine threatened to cut out my heart and eat it in front of me. Normally, he just threatens to cut out my heart. The X-Men have battled Magneto before, haven't they? Plenty of times. We've had a lot of close calls, but somehow we always wind up beating old Buckethead. Buckethead, yeah. <laughs> so you're not scared of Magneto? Heck yeah. He scares the icicles out of me. The guy's really powerful and a borderline loon. But we'll beat Magneto, right? I'd like to think so, but this time feels different. Magneto's never been so sure of himself that he went on TV and declared global war. I'll see you later, Bobby. I already miss you. Oh, Jubilee's over here. Well, look at you. Allison Crestmere is officially an X-Man. Congrats. I knew you had it in you. What are you up to? Just waiting to see if old Magneto is going to come back on TV and threaten the world again. For my money, nothing is more entertaining than a psychotic megalomaniac. Have you ever met Magneto? Once or twice, but he doesn't scare me. What if the most powerful mutants in the world doesn't scare you at all? <laughs> well, okay, maybe just a little, but that's because the guy's crazy with a capital C. But I'm always up for a good scrap. Even if it is Big Bad Magneto. Hmm. You sound like Wolverine. Yeah, I suppose I've picked up one or two of Wolvie's terms. Why's that? When I first met Wolverine, I saved his life. And then somehow I kind of became his unofficial sidekick. Anyway, the two of us are pretty close. I didn't think Wolverine liked anyone. 
Well, he hides it well, but deep down inside, Wolvie's just a big old teddy bear with razor sharp adamantium claws. <laughs> Talk to you later, Jubilee. See you around, Allison. That's very accurate. Normally, the coolest people are the worst people when you're not on their side, so I can attest to that. All right, got a bunch of uh, permanent bonuses for everybody. Mm -hmm. Four focus for Storm, two body two focus for Magma, two agility and body for Beast. Yeah, I've often been told that I can be very cold. However, the people who are close to me know how how warm I can be, so it depends. You know. So I kind of get what Jubilee was saying about Wolverine. Usually it's the nicest people that can be the worst once they've had enough. So that goes for everybody. Hello again, Allison. What can I do for you? Can you tell me who Magneto is? He is a mutant of inconceivable power. His ability to control electromagnetic fields allows him to realize almost any desire, from the slightest of whims to the grandest of schemes. But why is he so angry at humans? Magneto lost his family to the horrors of the Holocaust. He believes that mutant kind faces a similar threat, and that is how he justifies his hatred. Isn't he right, though? I mean, humans hate mutants. They said so on the news. People fear what they don't understand, and humans do not understand mutants. Therefore, it is our responsibility to enlighten them. Hmm. Why are the X-Men so nervous about Magneto? He's only one mutant. Magneto alone... The Brotherhood is pretty bad news, huh? Indeed they are. The Brotherhood of Mutants is a twisted cast of miscreants dedicated to Magneto's cause. So they're kind of like the X-Men, following Professor Xavier. The X-Men and the Brotherhood are polar opposites. The X-Men seek to promote understanding between mutants and humans. The Brotherhood seeks to rule non-mutants, and they will not hesitate to use violence to achieve their goal. Yeah, so there's uh, some audio cutting out again. Sorry about that, guys. Have you ever met Magneto? I've had the misfortune to cross paths with Magneto several times. They were most unpleasant experiences but there are many who find Magneto a very charismatic leader. None of the X-Men like Magneto, do they? Oh my gosh, one of the X-Men was a member of the Brotherhood? Who? It's not my place to say, Allison. If that person wants you to know, then that person will have to tell you. <laughs> Rumor has it that Juggernaut attacked the X-Mansion once. Juggernaut's mind was set on murder that day. The murder of his brother. Okay, so I didn't pay attention to that before, actually. Uh, so I'm assuming if you don't do Nightcrawler's side quest and Beast's side quest in the story before, that you will have a second chance to do it. I haven't tried that before, but maybe uh, the next time I play it through, I will. Talk to you later, Beast. Come back anytime, Allison. Still no Jean Grey. I don't think you can talk to Toad again. Nope. He's upset. Like. Magma would really want to talk to Jean Grey right now. Oh, there she is. Nice uniform. 
I can see how our fan base will be increasing. Hi, Miss Gray. Please, call me Jean. I always feel old when someone calls me Miss Gray. What are you up to? I'm getting Cerebro ready for the Professor. We're going to scan for the Brotherhood in hopes of finding the Mount. Seems like everyone here is looking for the Mount. Yes, the Professor is adamant that we find the Mount before anyone else does. I think Professor X is worried Magneto would be killed if someone else found his base. Why would the Professor be concerned about Magneto's safety? Because they used to be friends. No way! The Professor and Magneto were friends? Once upon a time, they were very close friends. Magneto even helped Professor Xavier build Cerebro. So what caused them to become enemies? They're not exactly enemies. They still respect each other. But I think they had a falling out over how to handle mutant-human relationships. Professor Xavier was too much of a pacifist for Magneto's tastes. I've heard you have the same problem I do with controlling your powers. If you don't mind my asking, how do you handle it? It's a problem I wrestle with every day, Allison. You see, if I overextend my powers, I can lose myself and become... the Phoenix. What's the Phoenix? It's a destructive entity of awesome and frightening power. And because of it, I have to keep careful eye on how much energy I use. Sort of like when you were keeping the Arbiter afloat. Yes, exactly. I did only... So if she won't get only what was required anymore if she would have risked the chance of losing herself. <laughs> See you later, Miss Gray. Uh, Jean. <laughs> Bye, Allison. Alright. That was a much needed dialogue for Magma, considering she completely destroyed the danger room. Oh, Storm's here. Allison, you look splendid in your new uniform. What are you up to, Storm? Henry and I are attempting to triangulate the source of Magneto's television signal from this morning. We hope this will lead us to uncover the Mount's location. Are you having any luck? No. Unfortunately, I am a much better gardener than I am a satellite technician. What's the Mount? Professor Xavier believes the Mount is a secret base from which Magneto plans to launch his assault on humankind. If we can... Yeah, so the audio's getting out a little bit still. So they're trying to find the mount so that nothing bad happens to Magneto. Do you have any other plans for finding the mount? We have considered contacting the Morlocks. I imagine Magneto's forces would be more liberal about sharing their information with other outlaws. I'll let you get back to work. Feel free to come back anytime, Allison. Okay, so that dialogue is you have to take it you have to talk to her then because if you don't she won't be there after what i'm about to do now she will be gone i found this side quest accidentally and i was so surprised when i first found it i was like i had no idea because i had already played the game several times and I just didn't know that you could get a side quest here. It's Wolverine. Hey kid, nice to see the team's getting some new blood. I never got a chance to thank you for being so encouraging after I destroyed the danger room. You're a powerhouse kid. You just need to learn. <laughs> you just need to learn a little self control, but then who am I to tell you about self control? <laughs> Isn't this kind of an odd time to be working on your motorcycle? Nah, working with my hands helps clear my mind. Jean called you a man of mystery. What did she mean? 
Gene said that, huh? <laughs> well, kid, I'm a mystery even to myself. I can't remember anything before I woke up in a laboratory tank at the Weapon X facility a few years back. But I can tell you, the creeps that put me in that tank are always gonna remember me. The few that are still living. So, what exactly happened to you at the Weapon X facility? It happened some years ago. I came to in some oversized aquarium with tons of wires coming out of my skin. All I wanted were two things. Freedom and revenge. This is Wolverine's flashback. It's when he was being experimented on at Weapon X. This, this gives a lot of backstory to why Wolverine is the way he is. What a remarkable creature. Such strength, such anger. He is a prime specimen for this experiment. His adrenaline levels are rising fast. And look at those EKG spikes. He's waking up. How is that possible? Administer an additional liter of depomorphine. It's having no effect. <laughs> Amazing. The others weren't even close to this bestial elegance. Sir, he's going to be conscious in a few seconds. It's as if rage is his lifeblood. He's out of control, sir! We've got to get out of here! Now! Fascinating. This one is indeed the perfect Weapon X. So, Wolverine has gone berserk. Time you freaks a and lesson. he wants to knock some heads. So I'm gonna do a quick save here real quick. Oops, sorry. Make sure y'all can still see everything. Okay, good to go. Oh, and I might want to level them up too. Almost forgot. So Wolverine, as I'm sure everyone has noticed, he's one of the most balanced characters that are on this game. So, um, agility and inertial dampener. Let's do deflector. I got two points for him. Um, so you can either do his, uh, uh, X extreme attack, which is really cool. You get a level up eviscerate, and that makes it that much stronger. Since this is strong enough for this mission, I'm going to put it on Savage Rampage, and I'll be sure to demonstrate that for you all. Okay, let's go. See what you got. You have to be careful on this part. That guy can KO you pretty easily. So you want to definitely take him out. to demonstrate the bleak damage. Okay, so see they have four damage for a couple of seconds. That's what bleak damage does. 
the higher he gets, the more damage it does. You ain't getting up to that. I think it's called idle damage or something like that. Careful on this part, they'll try to blow you up. See that? That would KO you. Can't do that. Uh, I forgot to sell some stuff. Okay. Um, I normally like to sell items before I go into this one so that I can have more. Um, how do you say it? So I can have more, more room for newer items. But since I didn't do that, I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff I don't want. So. My L2 is not working. That's weird. Um. Uh, it's, it's not as if I need that stuff. I can always get it later. I can do fine without it, so I'm not sure why my L2 button isn't working, but I'll just leave it alone for now. I can pretty much make it through this game without any outfit advancement. So. Say goodnight, Bob. You're going down! So this, remember this spot. You can't get it here now, but you do want to remember it for later. I break through this glass right here. damage do the work. Get back, you infernal creature! You ain't get them. Wolverine, and now he's extremely mad. You can't really blame him. Okay, we'll try to blow you up again on this part, so you do want to be careful. I need to go back that way, but I want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Security! Destroy that thing! You're going down! 
tiny little freaks. Learn to listen. I don't miss anything here. Guess you didn't want a piece of me. Medic! Up my aim there. <laughs> Guess you didn't want a piece of it. This survival 302. Okay, I have a lot of uh, danger room grinding I need to do. I'll be sure to do that. Say good night, Bob. Vision Gate. It's a very cool backstory. Unfortunately, some people don't realize the wrong they do until they meet someone who has to pay them back for it. You know, the average person will just let you do whatever and just stay away from you, right? There are those few who aren't forgiving and don't and don't want to be peaceable about it, so you know. Next time you ain't getting up. You know, ask yourself how did you what did you have to tell yourself to be okay with experimenting on someone and turning them into a monster? You know? That's how I feel about it. That goes for anything in life, you know? What have you told yourself to allow yourself to do someone so wrong? So I am gonna show you, uh, if I die, it's okay, I have a safe state. There, there are five machine guns over here. I want to show y'all what happens if you go over here without deactivating them. They will, they take you down really easily. So I managed to run by them because of the feral rage boost I have. But normally you would want to go back this way and deactivate them. Yeah, if you get hit by that thing, it will drain your HP very quickly. If you don't have Feral Rage or if you are having trouble getting by, come over here and deactivate it. 
Now, if you fall down there with the green light, you will die instantly. Do not fall down there. That's one thing you can do. This part can be tricky. So the fire will load. It will stop and then it will start again almost instantly. So you do want to watch that. Feral Rage is helpful. I think it's this one. It'll stop and then it'll start right up again. I want to see if it happens. Okay, it's not that one. It might be this one. Whoops, I got too close. I'm fading quick. See that it stopped and then started and stopped and started again really quickly. So you do want to watch that one. Um, oh, okay, down here. Now you have to be quick about it on this part. You can't lollygag. If you get hit by that green light, you will die instantly. So you need to hurry up and get around, jump, do not fall off. And. You're almost in the clear. Oops. More fire to watch out for. When in doubt, just wait. See that one has a different pattern than the others did? It's easy to get KO'd if you're not careful. Oh, forgot about that one. So, as tempting as it may be, when you get, get up the away, stairs, beast. Don't, come near me. don't go near him yet. Come this way. And grab a danger room disc called Challenge Wolverine. Now I'm really ready for a scrap. <sighs> you! Keep away from me, freak. I... I had every right to experiment on you. All you mutants are just sideshow oddities that deserve to be dissected. No! No! So they treated you pretty bad there, huh? If it weren't for my mutant healing ability, I'd have died a hundred times over. Leaf that there was such a side quest on this game. I had never seen it before, but I found it. And that added so much more weight to the way this game is. Whoever all of the main creators at the end who created the game, they deserve a lot of credit. They did really well. Uh, I, I'm thoroughly happy with the way they did it. And you can't talk to him again, so... I think you actually can't come in. You can't even come back in the extra anchor again.
Well. I think I talked to everybody, so now it is time to see Storm is gone. There are some things I always feel like on this game there could be something else that I might be missing because if your timing is off you can miss certain events so there's something to be mindful of new plant mission what's up professor? Cerebro has discovered the Brotherhood is on the move again this time to a potentially catastrophic location. The Boshnoi nuclear plant in Siberia. Is Magneto with them? No, at least according to Cerebro. The Brotherhood has access to weapons-grade plutonium? This is most disconcerting. Agreed. Whatever they're up to, the consequences will be disastrous. The Brotherhood must be stopped, or you may very well have to contain a nuclear meltdown. <gasps> oh, dear God. They wouldn't. Oh, yes, they would, Storm. Without batting an eye. We must stop them. Right on, psych. Let's go show the Brotherhood they're playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded gun. Very well, X-Men. Be on your way. There's no time to waste. Mostly nuclear plant in Russia. So, I'm going to put out Storm, or I'm going to put out Jean Grey, Jean Grey. and Magma. Magma. That's a good team. Normally, I would go ahead and upgrade to their second level of attacks, but for the sake of showing everyone what I can do, I'm going to put on um, optic rage. I'm going to get everybody's X attack so you can see it. Um, oh, I need another point for uh, Iceman. I'll be able to get it to him again at some point. Enhancer, strike enhancer, and we're advantage. Oh, it's not a 15 yet. Okay, so I'll give up a one to one magma. Jean Grey, haven't used her for a while. She's a body. One on second shell and one on telekinetic combat. Um, I've got three energy people and one mental person. Let's put it out. Let's see. Uh, Rogue. Mm, nah, I'll put a, I like Iceman out. Iceman. Iceman is good. Remember to press start, not back.
Brotherhood attack the nuclear facility in broad daylight? They're getting more brazen with every move. Well, I'm here. I'm going to stop at the shop and sell everything. Maybe we're not using it. We're starting to approach those levels too, so I think I'll hold on to this. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Got it. Please, please, I. I have family. Let me leave. We're here to stop the mutants who attack your facility. Do you know where they are? Yet. I think they have gone. All except for the metal one. Da, he wears a uniform much like yours, but he is Russian. That would be Piotr. He is Colossus. at the nuclear core. No doubt eating it like a bear with honey. <laughs> Spasiba. Yeah. Pojasta. Time you freaks learned a lesson. Will do. Okay. Better luck next time. He got stuck there. Oh, I'm glad that's in camera. there being anything down there so I'm not gonna go mm. yeah I don't think anything's down there that's right we'll do we'll do you're going down Careful on that bridge. Uh, those electric shots will kill you very quickly. So 
so you want someone like I think Jean Grey has the muscle accelerator. So I might have her run across here. The AI will get stuck, so you just make sure that you make it across. Score one for the good. I feel reborn. You can also press buttons with her telekinesis too. Fuck, you could. Wait a minute. I know I've done it before, but it's not working right now. You're going down. Right. All right. Got it. Blew me up, Mac. Look at this girl. I don't know what it is. I, I don't open doors, I just destroy them. <laughs> that sounds oddly accurate in my personal life, actually. Uh, I don't oh, use the door, I make a door. How about that? Okay, so I don't have... What you got. Come on. I don't have flight leveled up, but there is a danger room disc down here in the corner. You need to have someone who can fly to go get it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, at some point, you can buy the danger room disc at a later time. So. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. King Gray can also yes. talk to the lab techs from far away, in case you didn't know that. I can do it, hold on. There we go. It's not what you think. We're here to stop the mutants who are attacking this planet. Or this planet, this plant. If that's true, then I need your help. The reactor is overheating and will melt down soon. How can we stop the reactor from overheating? over to the bridge into the adjacent area and make your way to the controls for the coolant valves. All of them must be activated. Be careful though, there's been a lot of damage to the plant, so there may be rubble and other obstacles in the way. Once the valves are open, you have to come back here and turn on the flow to the main coolant vat. So is that it? Yes, and good luck. The lives of thousands are in your hands. Why can't you turn on the coolant valves? because the mutants that cause the overload are not allowing anyone near the control panels. Must be a battle. What if we fail? The reactor will melt down and radiation will leak into the air and the ground and water. Thousands will die and many more will become terribly ill. Thank you for your help. Oh, oops. <laughs> so, uh, I almost glitched the game out there. If you talk to him telekinetically before you reach him, it can make the game freeze up. I forgot about that. So don't do that. Unless you want to see how many glitches you can perform at one time. Which, yeah, I've kind of done that, so. Okay, so we've got another... Oh, acolytes! Oh, 
So this guy right here, this green guy, is kind of like the Morlock Goth, who can bring people back. So you do want to watch your back around him. He brings back a physical resistant guy. They're really strong. So if you're not paying attention, he can one shot anybody with his power blast punch. I'm on it. You bet. I need help right now. Yes. Yeah, so again, the AIs get stuck there and they get a lot of damage done to them. So just get across as fast as you can and then heal them because they'll just Will stand do. there in it. Right. Got it. Will do. Just a heads up. But yeah, so if you have someone who can fly, you can take this down and then back in the corner behind the reactor on the left, there is a uh, danger disc there. Also, I think there's a sketchbook somewhere. So um, I guess I'm going to miss out on it this time. I haven't leveled up Jean Grey's flight yet, so... Okay. There it is. You see that down there? Oh, it's a sketchbook. A comic book? Huh, I wonder. I guess I could do this. I'm gonna scout around. Will do. <laughs> I guess that's one way I can do it. I guess you don't need someone who can fly. <laughs> oh, glad that's on camera too. Got it. Will do. Sure thing. Prepare to meet your doom. Got it. I did pretty good, didn't I? <laughs> Will do. So both of those guys can bring back people. So you do want to be Just careful with them. And they are both mental resistant too. Something else to keep in mind. Will do. Again, AIs can fall off here, so just be careful and hope that they don't fall off. Oof. You see where Cyclops kind of just appeared back there? I thought he fell off. Good. All right. Sure thing. You cannot defeat the acolyte. Yes. Oh, oh. Will do. Oh, they were fighting each other. That was weird. I feel reborn. Yes. Combo! And stay down! Oh, that's the first... I normally hadn't seen Acolytes fighting each other. That was kind of weird. Can't do it on this one, I guess. Please don't fall off, guys. There okay, we And 
So now we gotta go back and cut the coolant valve on. New door has opened. I hope I don't glitch the game out again. Uh, okay, I'm gonna save it real quick in case this is screwed up here. So, like, uh, let me see. Let me see how far away I can be and talk to him. <laughs> there we go, okay. <laughs> One time I did it from further away than that, and like, the screen kept flashing black, and then it just shut down, so. <laughs> Metal Man, that must be Colossus. We have to save him. Ikimashou, Vito Vito. So you can take this down, or you can just jump down. Colossus. Ah! X-Men, thank the fathers you are here. I do not know how much longer I can last. Colossus, what happened? Because of Magneto's attack, the reactor is close to critical mass. If I drop this regulator, there will be a nuclear explosion. Don't do that. What can you do that? Quickly, you must go to the control room above me and open the blast doors. From there, you can repair the brackets that hold this regulator in place. You managed to do it. There also is a dangerous death technique somewhere over here. You have to fly up to get it. Um, I'm hoping I can show you. It's up a little bit higher, so. Won't be able to get that one either. Okay. So we'll do. You bet. X-Men, join us or die. Down the stairs. <sighs> they don't want to get thrown off the cliff too. Ah! This can't be happening. <laughs> Did you see what happened? <laughs> That's my fault. I, I baited Magma on that one. That's totally my fault. Dang, my bad, Magma. <laughs> you cannot defeat the Acolyte! Come on! Better luck next time. I didn't think I could get any cooler. You bet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's my fault. Magma was trying to attack the guy, and I kind of. No way I can lift this. Kind of baited her out. My bad. Okay, yes. Where's the guy at? There he is. Your time is up, do. Yes. You bet. Got it. All right. Is that everybody? I can get it. I better stop playing before I break this game. You should be able to check this game. Use the control Prepare panel first. Your doom. So I line up exactly with him. <laughs> What can we do to save Colossal? Um. Oh yes, I forgot to. Oh, I should have been reading. Sorry, I was snacking instead of reading. You must continue on through those doors, but I will warn you it will be dangerous. How much longer will Colossus last? I cannot say. Your friend is incredibly strong, but he is beginning to show signs of exhaustion. Should he drop that regulator, the consequences will be disastrous. But what happened? Let me put it this way. Can any of you men survive a nuclear explosion? Why is that way dangerous? A group of Brotherhood mutants is waiting for you, and they have no intention of letting you get past them. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Hicksman. And we are one man down. Because I was driving me funny. Let's defense up. Will do. I'm on it. Who's next? Okay. Okay. They won't let me throw him over the into the water anymore. Let's see if I can put him in here. Oh, he did go down there. That's cool. Combo. Good to know. Hmm. I thought you were tougher than that. Will do. I didn't know you could do that. I know. You cannot defeat the okay. acolyte. There's no stopping me now. 
There's a danger of disc over there. Um, wonder if you time it right. You might be able to jump over there, but right. I'm not going to worry about it. There's another danger of this right there, it's hiding, so you can easily miss that one if you're not careful. I'm on it. Yes. Right, so we are at the end. Now we have to help Colossus. So, now I've only done this, I, I'm pretty sure you have to have Jean Grey so she can mentally move it back into place to be locked. Will do. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's what needs to happen. And then you have to do the other side. I'm pretty sure you have to have her out. Got it. Will do. Possible. You have my gratitude, comrades. But shall stop. What happened here, Colossus? It was Magneto. And the Brotherhood? Yet. He called the group his acolytes. And there was one other man I did not recognize. He manipulated the radiation so that Magneto would not be harmed while he was within the reactor. What was Magneto doing inside the reactor? I overheard the Acolyte say he was creating some type of material that generated gravitic ions. Gravitic ions? We have to get this information to Professor X. Piotr, you're welcome to tag along. I'm sorry, my friends, but my sister, Ilyana, has fallen ill. I cannot leave her side. We could take Ileana to your island. Perhaps Moira and Forge could help her. A most excellent idea, comrades. This should be the care she requires. Let us go immediately. Ah. Mission complete. My work is not done yet. So now we are on the... Mutant Research Center facility, and that is owned by Dr. Moira McTaggart, who specializes in X gene uh, bio, I think biomedical X gene therapy, etc. So, yeah. Peter, I promise you, I'll do all that's humanly possible to save her. But this is a most unusual case. I've looked for viruses, parasites, and tissue damage, but I can't find anything wrong with her. I do not understand. Peter, there is no physical reason she should be in a coma. And to make matters worse, her body has begun to shut down. Doctor, please, I beg of you. Don't give up hope. I've asked Forge to see if he can create a life support system to keep your sister alive. Do you think he will succeed? Knowing Forge, he's putting the finishing touches on the device as we speak. So, sorry about earlier, Magma. That was my fault. But anyway, she's back and healthy. So, let's talk to Dr. McTaggart. 
Where does Charles find such splendid people? What can I do for you, lass? Are you Dr. Moira McTaggart? Aye, that's me. I run the Mutant Research Centre here on Muir Island. Are you a mutant? No. But my son Kevin was. The poor lad. What happened to him? I believe in his case, his mutation truly was a curse. It drove him to madness. He escaped the research centre and went on a killing spree. The X-Men had no choice but to destroy him. What is this place? This is the Mutant Research Centre. From here, I study mutant genetics and aid the Xavier Institute whenever and however I can. How'd you come to be involved with the X-Men? Charles and I were very good friends back in college. What's wrong with Ileana? I honestly don't know. Her body's shutting down for no apparent reason. Perhaps it has something to do with her X gene. What's an X gene? That's the gene that gives mutants their special abilities. So, one little gene is the cause of all this trouble between humans and mutants? I, I suppose you could say that. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, lass. Well, that was very informative. But that sounds pretty much like humankind. The smallest thing turns into the biggest disagreements. Crazy. So this is multiple man. Make sure you come back here and talk soon. Hey, you. Uh, don't be afraid. Would you mind talking to me a little while? Why are you floating in that vat? Uh, this is a liptide bath. I'm soaking in it to regain my strength after battling the Brotherhood. Guess I kind of uh, overextended myself and lost control of my clones. So you have trouble controlling your powers too? Hey, who doesn't every once in a while? We're mutants. We're mutants, not humans. Uh, I'll go. Uh, this is a. It again. Hey, who doesn't every once in a while? If it works We're mutants, not machines. There's no cutoff switch that automatically gets thrown when we go past our limit. You fought the Brotherhood? Yeah, well, I had some help from Forge and Moira, but, uh, yeah, I fought them. They did a lot of damage to the facility. Forge is still trying to sort things out. You wouldn't by any chance be a mutant, would you? Sure am. I'm Jimmy Madrix, a.k.a. Multiple Man. But floating here, I feel more like Lilypad Man. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. What's your mutant power? Duplicates of me are created whenever my body experiences any sort of impact. Even something as simple as snapping my fingers. Needless to say, I'd never lose in a boxing match. <laughs> How convenient. Bye. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks. I, uh, I'm feeling better already. Alrighty, so now we are going to go. Uh, ooh, the camera's not working here, guys. Sorry. Um, there we go. Try not to make anybody dizzy. Oh, bosses. My friend Wolverine tells me you are. Magma, a recent addition to the X-Men. I am Colossus. Who are you? I am Pyotr Nikolaevich Rasputin. From your accent, I take it you're Russian. Da. Da. There is no greater country or more beautiful land on this earth. Ah, how I love the splendor of Mother Russia. You almost sound like a poet. Me? A poet? Yet. Yes. <laughs> but I do love to paint. It is a passion of mine. I'm very sorry to hear about your sister's illness. I too am sorry. But I refuse to give up on my sister. To lose Ileana would be more than I could bear. How were you able to hold up that regulator back at the nuclear plant? I am able to transform my body into an organic metal that grants me incredible strength. 
as well as the ability to withstand high temperatures. Wow, that's amazing. Perhaps, but I still enjoy my flesh and blood form. It is only then that I am truly able to sweat and put my back into my work. Take care, Colossus. Thank you, Allison. Yeah. All right. So just uh, you know, like normal, you want to look around, make sure you talk to everybody. So there is a conversation that I missed the first few times I played this game that made more sense because I found this. So listen closely to this. I know it was you, Alex. What have you gotten yourself into? Look, all I ask is that you meet me. You couldn't have picked a worse time. Scott, you really need to see this for yourself. Then you'll understand. I don't know. I need to... Hope to see you there, Scott. I've got to go. Bye. Bye, Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't. If you don't mind my asking, who was that? Someone who needs a swift kick. So, comic book fans and uh, X-Men fans in general, you already know who Havoc is and his relation to Cyclops. So, we'll touch back on that later. There's a sketchbook here. Make sure you get that. And now we need to go talk to Forge, finally for the first time in person. Computer, shut down the power grids in the 3rd, 4th, and 8th sectors. Invalid. Command. Ah! I made you! I can break you, you chunk of... Uh... Uh... Oh. Hi, I'm Allison. I mean, I'm Magma. Sorry guys, the, uh, the uh, audio is just heading out a little bit, so... Are you having trouble with your computer? <sighs> Ever since the Brotherhood stormed through here, the mainframe's been acting flaky. It's constantly turning systems on and off. It won't take any of my commands. Say... Could I ask a big favor of you? Like what? Would you mind manually rebooting the Institute supercomputer? I need it to program the life support system I built for Ileana. Rebooting a supercomputer sounds pretty technical. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I do it myself, but I have to be here when the mainframe comes online. <laughs> nice workshop you have here. Thanks. I use it to build any new equipment Dr. McTaggart might require. You see, I have the ability to build any type of machine. Oh, I remember you saying that. That's got to be... The weirdest mutant power you've ever heard of, yes, I know. Everybody says that. Until they need me to build a machine for them, that is. <laughs> sure, I'd love to help out. What do I do? Go to the primary core. Once you're there, contact me over the radio. And I'll walk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. Alright. So Magma's going to help reboot the supercomputer that's going to help Ileana sustain her life support. So. Okay, Forge. I found the primary core. What should I do now? Wait a second, Allison. I just found out I can't shut down the computer defense system. There's no time to waste, Forge. Ileana will die without your help, and you can't help her until this computer is working. I have to agree, Allison. Time is running out. You're very brave to do this. Nah, I'm just looking forward to a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to sound like Wolverine. Okay, Allison. Move into the room, and I'll talk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. So I'm going to level Magma up a little bit. Um, okay. I'm going range and on Magma Lane. Plus 15% damage on top of the attack power she already has. And I'm going to equip uh, Shadow Cat's touch. So she has the damage she already does, and now she does 25 to 31 on top of everything else that she already has, and it's versus robots, because she's going to be encountering uh, the defense systems within the supercomputer. So it's very cool to have the Shadow Cat's touch by now. 
So, that's good. The audio keeps cutting out, guys. Sorry. If you want to see it, you can go back and pause. You now I'm really ready to fire it up. If you want to see the audio, you can go back and pause it. Or, you know, better yet, pick up the game and play it. I'm sure you'll love it. I'll have to clear it off first. Okay. Be careful, Allison. Right. Oops. And stay down. This panel isn't doing anything, Forge. Yeah, from my monitor, it looks like the core is out of alignment. So what should I do? There are two core control stations. Find them and access the core. They should automatically align. Huh. Good job, Allison. Now you have to find the other core control station. That's more like it. The core is in alignment. Now head back to the primary controls and access them. I've got it covered, Forge. I need more power to do that. I need more power to do that. Oops, <laughs> ran out of EP. How's that, Forge? It worked. But what about Ileana? I'm already using the main computer to help her. Thanks, Allison. You probably just saved her life. Right. You saved Ileana. Wow. Okay, Moira. I've finished downloading the program. How do things look? That's done it, Forge. I couldn't have done it without Allison. She's the hero. Well then, I thank you, Allison. You saved Ileana's life. Anyone could have done it. Nonsense. You deserve to be congratulated, lass. Thanks. I'm just glad Ileana's better. X-Men, meet at the X-Jet. Now. It's time we left for the mansion, people. Colossus, you're welcome to join us. Since Dr. McTaggart is sending Ileana to see Professor Xavier at the X-Mansion, I will go too. We got back from Muir Island a little while ago. 
Somehow my troubles with the Brotherhood really don't seem important compared to what poor Ileana's going through. I hope Dr. McTaggart and Professor Xavier can help her. I always thought that Magma was really brave to leave her journal out like that. Yeah, that's not what I do. <laughs> Aren't you going to take it with you? <laughs> Dude, don't let Iceman get a hold of it. I don't think there really is any dialogue. Uh, I have thoroughly searched this entire area. I don't want to say that they're, I'm 100% certain because there's always something in this game that's missable, but I'm pretty sure for this part, it's only Colossus. Hello, Alison Crestmere. Any word on your sister? I have spoken with Dr. McTaggart, but there is no change in Ileana's condition. I fear her time grows short. But Dr. McTaggart seems pretty certain she can save her. Perhaps. But I am not so certain now. Ileana's lucky to have a brother like you. Yet, I am the lucky one. My sister gives me reason to live. Without her, I would be an empty shell. How did you discover your mutant powers? One day, I was working in the fields when a tractor went out of control and threatened to crush my sister Ileana. Without thinking, I jumped in the path of the runaway machine. Oh my gosh, what happened? My body transformed into living metal and gave me the strength of a hundred men. I stopped the tractor with little effort. <laughs> Take it easy, Colossus. So long as my sister is ill, I will never take it easy. Oh, poor glasses. Right, so we gotta head into the mission. So this part, there's a lot going on in this part. So just stay close to the, pay close attention to the audio if it isn't interrupted. <laughs> You cannot avoid talking to this person. Don't try. Actually, I won't. Do this. <laughs> I want this shit. Hello, dear. You must be new to the school. Yes, my name is Allison Cressmere. Emma Frost. How delightful! I'll bet all the boys are chasing after a pretty girl like you. Ah. Uh, Men, they're so easy to own. Not all of us. Allison, I'd like to introduce you to Emma Frost, also known as the White Queen. She has immense psychic talents. Charles, my sweet. You're looking more handsome every day. And you, Emma, are equal parts beauty and chaos. <laughs> Such a smooth talker. You could charm a girl right out of her. Thank you. Not to worry, Charles. Uh. Auntie Emma will make it all better. You see, Allison? Men are so easy. Much like the boy you're interested in. Bobby Drake? Uh, Hello, Allison. How's that boy you have your eye on? Bobby Drake? Quite frankly, for me, what I'm trying to focus on when it comes to a woman is what's coming out of her mouth. And I'll determine if she's worth it after that. Who are you? My name is Emma Frost, but I'm also known as the White Aren't you a telepath? The White Queen, because she's Yes, while I'm no space. Charles Xavier, I am rather talented in that area. How long have you been an X-Man? I'm not. Being a permanent part of a group is much too confining. I prefer to come and go as I please. That way I'm not bound by the X-Men's rather prudish code of ethics. 
How did you know about Bobby? It's amazing the things you learn when you're a telepath. I thought telepaths weren't supposed to read minds unless they were given permission. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? Okay, so I kind of agree with Emma Frost. If I had the ability to read minds, I definitely would tell you I would never read your mind without permission and still do it. I don't care who you are. If you have an ability like that, you would abuse it. Just saying. <laughs> I totally agree with her. What's this astral plane that Professor Xavier was talking about? The astral plane is a dimension of existence bordering on the edge of thought. It's based entirely on metaphor. So, a person who needs emotional protection would be covered in armor, and a person who wishes to be silent would be surrounded by a wall. Sounds very weird. Think of it as a dream, where everything has an alternate and deeper meaning. Good luck on your mission. Be sure to keep an eye on the professor. My dear, I always keep both eyes on Charles. Hello, Alice. I was just going to say the same things. Okay. All right, so... Now we know that telepaths do read your mind without asking, and they pretty much can rub your brain whenever they feel like it. Just great, great. Uh, I've missed this dialogue before, so here's this. Oh, I be thinking that maybe you still got a little feeling or two for Magneto. I can understand that, but oh, tell me shit. I'm long done with Magneto. And you know I still care about you, you sneak thief. But think about what you're asking me. Oh, sorry. I'll leave. Don't you worry none, little Allison. I done heard everything that I need to know. I'll be going now. Oh, what? What's Gambit angry about? He and I have an on again, off. Gambit seemed kind of worried you might still have feelings for Magneto. I admit, at one time, Magneto held a very. Do you regret leaving? Heck no! The Brotherhood is nothing but a bunch of backstabbing lowlives who'd be more than happy to kill off Magneto and take over leadership. The only problem is, none of them are anywhere near Magneto's strength. I never like traveling in packs. I only feel safe when I'm in a group. I only feel safe when I'm alone. I don't feel safe in a group. Of Gambit seemed kind of worried you might still have feelings for Magneto. I admit, at one time, Magneto held a very special place in my heart. And I know I broke his heart the day I left the Brotherhood. Do you regret leaving? Heck no! Oh, I already asked that one. There you go. See you later, Rogue. Later, sugar. Later, sugar. Don't be a stranger, y'all. And I think Cyclops might be... Yep, he's still there. Allison, I'm gonna be gone for a little while. If you're gone, who's gonna be in charge of the team? Storm will be the X-Men team leader in my absence. Where are you going? I can't say but it shouldn't take long. Can I go with you? You know it- I'm in handy, but no, this is something I have to do alone. Okay. See you later, Cyclops. See you soon, Allison. Later, sugar. Jubilee gets too much of you. I don't believe there's anyone upstairs to talk to. I don't think you can go to the front line yet. Let me double check since I'm already here. There's a danger in this. How much ice man? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think anyone's up here for this section. I think there's more sketchbook stuff we can check out. Uh, in Cyclops, or, uh, Colossus's room. Warlock tunnels. how they were thinking of uh, drawing her initially during the game prep. Heart Soldier, the Arbiter Boat, Roving Gambit. That's actually really cute. I like that one. Trio One, Magma, Psylocke, Nightcrawler, and Sewer Sewer. That's really cool. Uh, I, def I always have a great appreciation for people who control it. Because it's just not one of my skills. So we're going to head to the sub basement. So Beast is in there. I don't know if we can go back to the extra right now. The area is currently inaccessible. So we'll talk to Beast. Allison, I can't help but notice you've been extremely somber lately. Is something wrong? I'm worried about Ileana. That's very kind of you. I'm sure Peter appreciates your concern. I wish there was something I could do to help. Allison, the more I get to know you, the more I'm convinced you were an X-Man before you even came to the mansion. Will Dr. McTaggart be able to save her? Moira is an extremely gifted scientist. And don't forget that Charles Xavier is also on the... What do you mean I was already an X-Man? Your concern for the welfare of others, even those you don't know, is exactly how the... Yeah. Thanks, Beast. You're the greatest. <laughs> I wouldn't debate that point with you at all, my friend. <laughs> so, yeah, audio issues. It's just kind of happening today, so... It's such sort of this. All the more reason for you to pick up the game and play it. Definitely should. I can't say it enough. It's one of my favorite games. No one in the danger room. Gray isn't out either. Okay. Hmm. I wanted to talk to her. I'll do a brief stop at the baby room just to get some qualifying exams done. And we will go from there. Okay, so for that Cyclops. Actually, this is a good team. I'm going to put these three people out. Three, three, these four people out to be weak. After grades, I'm going to put one optic glass for him. Oh, yes, chain lightning is super cool. You will fall in love with that one, I guarantee you. Extreme and Shield all the way up. Wolverine, 
remember correctly, this one is a survival mission. And the survival missions only get harder as the game goes on. You may cool. now begin your course. The extra will be there in three minutes to make you all feel well. Oh, sorry. It is <laughs> skip the first part. It is time to now test the skills you have learned. Find and destroy all generators. Be prepared for some resistance to sabotage your efforts. Let's go. Will do. Got it. Again. Generating alert. Housing alert. Generating alert. Nicely done. Okay. Generating alert. Will do. Generating alert. Combo. Combo. Oh yeah, let me show off her chain. Watch her chain lightning. It's so cool. It travels Generating from one person to the next. Generating effect. That move is super OP. Okay. Generating effect. Okay. Generating effect. Yes. Combo. Generating effect. I have to admit, that's probably one of my favorite moves. Qualifying exam has been completed. Grade passed. Congratulations. Well done. You have successfully sabotaged the Heart Research Facility. Congrats on your graduation to sophomore status. Let's go. Hmm, excuse me. So before I can go on to Qualifying exam two, you see it says the recommended level is level 14. I'm at level 16 ish. And before you can play it, you need to have 43 credits. And I only have 34. So now I need to start completing some of these other challenges here. The training course is activated. Begin. We need to protect items from those who would destroy them. 
The next course places you on the rooftops of New York, where the Brotherhood is attempting to destroy the vents and burn the building down. Protect all vents and survive for two minutes. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Combo! Generating Combo. opponent. Yes. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Combo! Better luck next time. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. I'll see you again, X-Men! Generating opponent. We both know we are going to lose. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Terribly sorry about that. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. This is a token. Generating opponent. Thirty seconds remain. Generating opponent. Hmm. I Generating thought you were opponent. tougher than that. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Ten seconds remain. Generating opponent. Five, four, three, two, one. Generating opponent. An excellent job. You have completed all course objectives. All right. Also, I'm going to go back to freshman status and clean up some of the other these other three. Of credits here. So you get um, four credits, five credits, and five credits. So remember when I said that my uh, L button wasn't working? I'm going to have to redo my, um, my L button because if it doesn't work, I can't complete the challenge. So um, I'm going to. L1 is fine, it's L2. I'm going to make it this button. If it'll let me. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. See how that does. Let's see if it works. The course is now active. Good luck. Generating opponent. Uh, generating opponent. Yeah, my button's not working for L. Okay, generating on. opponent. I don't know what it is about my L button, but for some reason it's not working. Mm. Doesn't work. Let's 
Try it again here. Group together, X-Men. Generating a point. It could be an issue with the button. I'm not yes. sure. Generating a point. 30 seconds remaining. And it's not Generating working. Generating a point. You ain't getting up from that. Generating a point. So I won't be able to finish that challenge if I can't get that button to work. Um... Both L1 work. Let's look at this. See if that one works. Again. I could use some help over here. Generating a point. It works once, Ten but then it doesn't yeah. work anymore. Generating a point. Five. Four. Hmm. Generating a point. Two. One. You were unsuccessful in completing this course, but you may repeat the course whenever you choose. I'm not sure why the L button isn't working like that, so um, I might have to come back to that challenge then. Um, I think what other way, what other button I could replace it with. I might have to do a, uh, make a do over on my uh, buttons here. Bear with me, everybody. Can't move forward until I get it working. Okay, let's try that. See if that works. The training course is activated. Begin. Generating a point. Keep trying. Generating a point. Nope. Okay. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have to just do my entire controller settings. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Um I am going to I'm just going to remove them all and start all over here. I hope I don't screw up anything, but let's just start from the beginning. Okay. Select. Start. Left, right, down, triangle, square, circle, plus, left, down, 
Um, My right doesn't want to work. Then that. Mm, that's not right, wait a minute. There we go. There's right. Left, right, okay. Up. Left. Right. Down. Okay. So it should be working Good. now. Let's keep together generating a point. There we go. Okay, I must have had something wrong there. Now it's working. Generating a point. Combo! Will do. 30 seconds remaining. Yeah. Generating a point. All objectives have been successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. All right, now we're in action. I don't know why my L button was doing that. From all of my setup, it didn't look like anything was wrong. So I'm not sure. Eh, just a glitch, I guess. So this is Combined Powers 101 and 102. This is when you learn to make combos, and this increases damage done and experience. So it's really important to get used to doing that and then learning to match it up with the AI. You may now begin your course. Also, if you throw an enemy into um, in, into a teammate, it's considered batter up. That's considered a combo. You can get experience for that too. Generating I think her telekinesis Generating is too strong now to do it. So I'm actually gonna have to push them into each other. Generating a point. Better luck next time. Generating I'll see you again, X-Men. You are Generating So you want to do this when everyone's low power? Generating. It gets kind of hard to do it when everyone gets too strong. <laughs> Generating a point. Combo. Generating a point. Generating a point. This is impossible! Congratulations, Combo. you have successfully completed the course. <laughs> that chain lightning, though, man. That chain lightning is sick. Alright, uh, here's another one. Just the same thing, just less time to do the combos. So. The training course is activated. Begin. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Combo. Generating a point. Combo. <laughs> Generating a point. Need a minute to catch your breath. Generating a point. Oh, Generating so sorry, Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a We're almost too Generating strong for this point. challenge now. It's too funny. Generating a point. Combo. Generating a point. I'm the best at what I do. Combo. All objectives have been successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. Yeah, that's one challenge you want to do really early. Uh, when you get too powerful, the opponent's on those level, levels are too weak to uh, 
withstand a combo because you're way too strong. So it's hard to get them. So anyway, now we have enough for qualifying exam 200. I now have 59 credits. So we'll go ahead and do this one too. I can't remember how this one goes. So I guess we'll have to figure it out. Here in a moment. I'm going to put out Iceman. Iceman. And that's going to be my composition. level up again soon. So I will hold on to that. The training course is activated. This Begin. exam will test your skills as a defender and a champion of both humans and mutants. In this simulation, the USS Arbiter is sinking and an army of soldiers will let nothing stand in their way as they attempt to destroy the information in the ship's computers. You must protect the crew and protect the ship until help arrives. Then four crewmen protect four computers to survive for two minutes. This one can be very hard. Generating a point. So there's one crewman. Generating a point. And... So there's just one crewman and then there's four computers. So you see how much damage is already done to him? Generating That's a lot. Opponent. So sometimes I like to push them closer together. I think that will help a little bit. Generating a point. But uh, there will be challenges where you won't always be able to do Let's that. See what you got. Combo. Generating a point. I thought you were Combo. Combo. Generating a pump. Will do. Right. Combo! Yes. Generating a pump. Now I'm really ready for a sprint. Combo! Ooh, and they're mental we'll resistant, do. so I can't rely on Jean Grey right now. Generating a pump. Generating a pump. Yes. You bet. Score Generating a point. You failed the course. You may try again at any time. Yeah, this one can be a little bit difficult, actually. Um, let's see what level. It was saying I have to be level 14. Um, I would like to... Uh, I'm going to come back to that one. Because I like to have the uh, defensive leveled up for several people. Um, when you do, um, there are certain X-Men when their, um, defensive level goes up, it helps, it helps to support all of the teammates. That includes, uh, crewmen or anyone who may be an ally on the challenge that you're doing. So I'm going to head back to the story and I will come back. His gives you, you know, plus 10 strike and 10 agility. Um, but they can't really attack or anything. Other X-Men's will be uh, damage reduction. So that's kind of what you want to shoot for. Still no Jean Grey. So we're going to head back to this. Oh, my problem. Guten Tag, Fräulein Magma. What are you up to? I am lending Cyclops a hand in his search. What search? We are trying to discover how Mystique knew to go to the Harp facility to find the location of Magneto's prison. Oh, right. That's how the Brotherhood knew he was on the Arbiter. Are you having any luck in your search? Yeah. This would try the patience of Job, but we uncovered one intriguing bit of information. And that would be? Someone in the military has been leaking information to the Brotherhood. But the military distrusts mutants as much as anyone else. Indeed, and that is exactly what makes this information so intriguing. Wow. See you later, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison. 
So someone in the military assisted in finding out and rescuing a Magneto? No, that can't be right. Oh, I forgot about this. I remember this one. The load screen triggered the memory. What is this beast? Why call such a mysterious meeting, huh? I apologize for the cryptic message. But I fear we are about to come under attack from cloaked invaders. What? How do you know? Normally, I never would have detected them. But their variant covalence bands were interfering with an experiment dealing with hyperbolic... If there's a point, Beast, you should be getting to it. As you wish, Wolverine. I've discovered someone is attempting to access the Xavier Protocols. Those contain information on every known mutant in the world. If they fell into the wrong hands, no mutant would be safe. Any idea who's doing it, Beast? Anyone attempting to infiltrate our network would have to be nearby. But I've scanned the mansion grounds and can't detect anyone. Therefore, it seems reasonable to assume our unwanted guests are cloaked. Now it makes sense. For the past half hour, I've been catching thoughts from minds that I've never encountered before. Jean, do you think you can pinpoint where these thoughts are coming from? Yes. But I can only locate one mind at a time. That's all we'll need. All right, team, let's get out of here and pay close to pay close attention to Jean's instructions. All right, so I'm going to mix up my team a little bit. I'm not going to have all my usual people. I'm going to put out Colossus. Colossus. Rogue. Rogue. Gambit. Gambit. Yeah. Nightcrawler. Mixing up my group a little bit. So we just got Colossus, so I definitely need to get him leveled up. This charge is very cool. Great as light. Knockback can be helpful, but if you're trying to gain experience from attacking people nearby, that can be kind of a problem. So I really don't need that much. I don't need 305 knockback. So I'm just not even going to bother with it. You can. So I'll give him Concussion Slam, Steel Skin. I like, the, I like the concussion slam is my favorite. Uh, power smash is good too. It's been a while since I've used Rogue. Ten points. So she has her Southern Smash. Southern Strat. Put grappling up. See that increases her strike. How much was it before? So it's 12. That puts her way up to 18. If I do that. Also, that put Iron Maiden. Um, around this time of the game, you get a lot of, you have a lot of choices to choose from as far as leveling them up. It can be kind of hard to choose sometimes. I'll um, do energy drain is cool when there's other mutants around instead of humans. But I would say keep that in mind. Um, I'm just going to do that. Get her 
attack up here. Nightcrawler. Oh, it's been a while since I've used it. Um, body. He has plus 10 agility. Or. I'll put up the Shadow Works. Minus 16 damage, plus 7 agility. Blind Side Blitz. And one Zelda Flurry. And Gambit. Genetic amplification, so now he gets plus 12 to 15 energy damage for physical attacks and 10% movement speed, and it helps and it helps uh, every teammate who is nearby him get the same thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, so many choices. Okay, I'm going to do Staff Master. Let's go. It's been a while since I've saved. If I don't use the extraction point, I'm going to save real quick. I can sense them nearby. Search the grounds and I'll mark the ones closest to us. Right. Got it. All right. Mood took a lot of this power. <laughs> this is the Colossus charge I was telling you about. <laughs> Very cool to pull those in. And I also Got have it. Rogue who can fly around to so I wanna get a lay of the land. I have her. Back here. Time you freaks learn a lesson. Show thing.
witnessing there's two more people on the ground so you find me. You bet. As you wish. Here's one. You're going down. Huh. Oh, you move so bad. There he is. So that was the last person in this area. So I'm going to level everyone up real quick and then we will head to the next part. So now 10% movement speed and 15 to 18 damage on top of attacks. So that's cool. I'm going to give him a DNA generator instead. Or strike enhancer instead. Strike enhancer. Okay. Nightcrawler. I'll do shadow arts for him. There's a better at 20 strike. Titanium scan and then we'll do seismic smash extreme. Which I haven't showed you all the extreme attacks yet, so I'll have to. Uh, I'll show you a couple right now, actually. Let me see who has it. And then we'll go from there. Okay, Gambit doesn't, so uh, Nightcrawler does, Show thing. and right. Colossus As you wish. They have uh, right. their extreme Got level it. up. Affirmative. Yes. Right. If I get a big group of them, I'll use it. Here we go. So that's his extreme. As you saw, uh, uh, Nightcrawler's extreme is really strong. Really strong, really fast. You if you're in a pinch and surrounded by a group of people, this is the way to go. A little laggy. So the cool thing about uh, Nightcrawler's defensive move is it's the Shadow Arts. He's almost like none of the enemies can even detect his presence. That's just really cool. Die. You bet. Yes. Almost time. Better luck next time, huh? <laughs> They're attacking. <laughs> Show them. Get over here. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Oh, wait. so, um, so, uh, got it. 
As you wish. Okay. As you wish. You're going down. Shall we? Almost missed him. Almost missed him. We got one more soldier left. There he is. So sorry. Did that hurt? Yes, that's all I like. Good job, guys. Now, if one of you would be so kind as to gather the communication gear from one of these gentlemen, it could prove most beneficial. The last robot. <laughs> Those Gerso soldiers had some of the most advanced gear I've ever seen. And they fought as if they were specifically trained to battle mutants. Yes. This is most disconcerting. Oh. Just one moment. All I have to do is reconfigure the transmitter and triangulate the beacon signal. Voila! Now we can ascertain who our invisible friends were communicating with. Canada. Intriguing. Canada, like weapon now, if I narrow the Canada? search. Sounds like this is us. I do not know this place. That facility once belonged to the Canadian government. It's where the Weapon X project was carried out many years ago. Professor, wasn't Logan a victim of Weapon X? Indeed, which is precisely why Logan has already left. Allison. Okay. So I think most of the audio is going to be the same exact as it was before. Um, double check to make sure that there aren't going to be okay, yeah, the same areas are inaccessible. If you go upstairs, Emma Frost will still be in the living room, but I think you might be able to find Ray now. Might be a cerebro. Yes, there she is. I can't talk for long. We're getting ready to leave for the astral plane. Why are you going to the astral plane? Professor Xavier wants a group of us to go. He said he'd explain why at the mission briefing. What's the astral plane? The astral plane is a realm of the mind where thoughts become reality, but it works entirely on metaphor, kind of like in dreams. Oh, so like people who feel trapped or in chains and stuff like that? Exactly. Can non-psychic people go to the astral plane? I've heard of a few very rare cases, but non-psychics have very little impact there. Psychics, on the other hand, can shape the astral plane to fit their state of mind. Good luck on your mission. Thanks, Allison. I'm sure we'll be perfectly safe. All right. So on that note, uh, Cyclops is already gone. Wolverine is gone. Uh, we already talked. This Nightcrawler is going to say the same thing about the research that they found. And it's time to start the new chapter. So here you have a choice. If you want to go to the astral plane, 
or if you want to do what he has. Excuse me, I'd like to do the astral plane first. Attention, X-Men. Report to the war room for a mission briefing. I am going to grab something real quick. I will be right back. I'll let this part play through the scene because I already know. I'll be right back. I call this meeting to inform you that several of us will be taking a trip to the astral plane shortly. Several? But Charles, I only see you and Jean. I will be joining them. Cool! The White Queen is here! It figures they'd call in another super telepath to join the group. But what is the astral plane? It's a dimension of the mind. One where thoughts become reality. Why are you going to the astral plane, Professor? I'll let Moira answer that question. X-Men, I believe we've discovered the cause of Ileana's coma. You have? Tell me, Doctor, quickly! Her mind no longer inhabits her body, Colossus. We believe Ileana is on the astral plane. But she has no psychic powers. How can this be? I agree, Colossus. It is very strange indeed. And that is the reason Jean, Emma, and I are going to investigate... I can feel Ileana's mind is here. Me too. She's definitely on the astral plane. This doesn't make sense. How could a non-telepathic mutant become trapped on the astral plane? I don't know, but be vigilant, my friends. This is highly unusual. Could we possibly move this along, please? Guys, right, so uh, I got one thing I need to do real quick, and I'll be right back. But uh, to catch you all up to speed, you know, uh, Ileana is trapped on the astral plane. She is not telepathic. She's not telekinetic. She's not psychic. She has no business being on the astral plane. So how on earth did she get there, for starters? And two, who in the army is working with the Brotherhood. There's something else going on here.
Could we possibly move this along, please? Could we possibly move this along, please? Everyone, so much for waiting or for watching. So let's get started. The very cool thing about this part is you get to be Professor Xavier. Some of you are probably wondering, why is Professor Xavier walking? Isn't he in a wheelchair? This dude's mind is so strong, he can recreate on the astral plane himself being able to walk in top fit condition at level 40. You cannot lose this part with Professor Xavier. It's impossible. If you insist. Yes. So, he's at level 40 there at 16 All and right. 18. That speaks volumes. So, uh, we'll visit Forge real quick and sell what we have that we're not using. I might start getting rid of the basic things here. So I'm gonna get over that now. Okay. And I Oh, there's that hammer of Nimrod I was telling you about versus uh excuse me, versus um Sentinels. You don't need it right now, but good to know that it's there. We're getting close to that. I won't buy that yet, but I will give indicators gauntlets. That's 10% experience. So I need to level up Jean and Emma. And Professor Xavier, basically, he's the bum. He doesn't need anything else. Level 688 HP, 825 EP, 35 strike, 40 agility, 40 body, 80 focus. Um, just for the heck of it, I'll give him luck of the long shot. So, and then I'll give her Vindicator's Gauntlets. And uh, Emma Frost has 18 points to level up. So I'm going to do 13 uh, for her. Psychic Shell, minus 16 physical and minus 10 beam damage. Extreme is called Psychic Bedlam. Hardness and Shell Might. 
So when she ha uses her shell, it makes her stronger as well. She's one of the... She, she's a force to be reckoned with on this game. Uh, I like using Emma Frost too. Stun immunity. I'll keep her with the basic muscle accelerator. I'll finally level up her Sonic Fury. So she has basically 50 to 60 damage, right? Plus 80 to 100. Plus her strike. And plus whatever else she has equipped. So uh, Jean Grey is so OP. I haven't saved in a while, so I'll go ahead and save here. And let's go. I'm going to be Professor Xavier because why would he? I'm remembering something. I think you need Jean Grey to okay. yes, telekinetically turn a switch. I think there's one more. If you get too close from to, too close to the switch, it'll disappear. You need to use Jean Grey to activate it. Actually, I'll show you what happens if you try to get close to it without okay. uh, Jean Grey doing it disappears. So then you have to come up this way. It disappears again. And then here it disappears. And then you can finally use it there. Some parts of this you can't fall off the cliff, but however, be wary, there are a few parts in the astral plane where you will fall into an endless pit. Yes. So be careful. Okay. Got it. Yes. Professor, what are those creatures? I'm not certain, but apparently they mean us harm. Good. I'm in the mood for a fight. Something's really going on here in the astral plane. They've never had creatures like that before. If you insist. Okay. So there's a danger of this down there, so we'll miss that. My apologies. That one does not disappear. Combo, you're through. Uh, camera angle. There we go. Um, yeah, the danger disc is over here. I believe I won that round. <laughs> I forget so much. Oh, he was invisible. Come on! All 
right, on to the Chamber of Echoes. Emma Frost. Okay. Try harder next time. I feel like I'm always missing something here because there's so many different ways to go. Keep your eyes peeled for comic books and sketchbooks. Come on! And danger and discs. time. Okay, so let me go back over there and make sure I didn't forget anything. Sometimes you feel like you're going the wrong way, so you can turn back around just to make sure. Sam 300. And fall off the cliff here. Come on. Next, please. Uh, Professor yes. Xavier, please don't fall off. Yes. Okay. You can definitely fall off there. You need to use Jean Grey so she can activate the switch of that disappearing. I'm back. Keep together. Ooh. Would you look at that? Were you expecting that? Comic book fans? X Men fans? Were you expecting to see Shadow Key? Hmm. Professor Xavier doesn't seem to notice yet. Yes. 
Yes. As you wish. Yes. Turned around. <laughs> yes, yes. Destroy them, my pets. Ooh, what is that? Give my regards to the dodo. Yes, so when you see this guy over here, when he's summoning someone, you cannot attack him, but Jean Grey can use her telekinesis to bust him out of it. So when in doubt, you can always do that. Terribly sorry about that. Here we have another, you can fall off here. Sometimes the around. camera angle can make you fall off here, so just be careful when you go over there. You won't survive, X-Men. Activate that one. And then I gotta do this one. Okay, let's regroup. My hope is that the computers, the AI, do not try to get on with me and fall off the cliff. That's Xavier did fall off one time like that and I had to start all over. That thing is very strong. Let's go. So get Professor Xavier okay. and come back or you will die. Those things blow up on you. Oh, girl. Let's check her power. Look at her power. You don't want to get hit four in the row four times in a row by those things. Look at Professor Xavier even. You see how much damage that did to me? He has the highest HP here. He has the most 7, 8, 700 HP, while they only have 200 something. And it did that much damage to him. So you have to really be careful with that thing. Give my regards to the donor. As you wish. Okay. It's not whom I suspect. <laughs> Quickly, that portal will take you to Iliana. We're not leaving without you, Professor. Don't be a fool, girl. We must escape. Get out. Show yourself, Shadow King. I know it's you. No. 
Hello, Xavier. I'm impressed you remember me. I never forget the true face of evil. <laughs> I have to give him credit. The brat Ileana served her purpose. Give who credit? Someone told you to kidnap Ileana? No one would dare give an order to Shadow King. I was advised that stealing the child would lure you into my world. And here you are. What do you intend to do now? I should have thought it obvious, Xavier. I will have my revenge. <laughs> Ooh, so that's an interesting plot twist. Who advised Shadow King to kidnap Ileana? So that person, whoever that person is, knew that it would lure Professor X into the astral plane to make himself vulnerable to get caught. So who advised Shadow King? Interesting. This part is very hard. The girls are now by themselves. The level 40 powerhouser is gone. So I'm going to do I'm going to keep her uh, basic missile accelerator. I'm going to give her a strike enhancer. Oh, telekinetic combat. So now Jean Grey does eight, 80 to 100 mental damage and 100 to 125 damage on top of that. So that's not only melee attacks, that's also her EP abilities as well. So at this point, Jean Grey becomes very OP. I have played it through one time where I left the telekinetic combat on just the second one because she's so strong. And even then, she still is a powerhouse. So. <laughs> so this is something I've noticed too. You see how it says current level 50 to 63, next level 50 to 63. That might have been a mistake. So I, uh, I just never leveled up that last one. And I saved that point for something else. <laughs> There's no point in spending a point. There, there's no point in any point. There's no point in leveling it up again if it's still going to do the same exact thing it already does. So <laughs> that's just something that I noticed. <laughs> and here we go. You do have to be very careful on this part. If you insist. Got it. Who's next? See that? When he's trying to summon, you can her telekinesis can yank him right on out of it. it is. Okay. You can use that when necessary. You cannot attack him until he finishes, but you yank him out with telekinesis. Really want to try again? Combo! Yes. 
score one for the good guy. Tougher than that. If you insist. Got it. Okay. Here's the part. Get rid of it yes. right away. As soon as you can. But don't be afraid to run away if you have to Ugh. come back. Okay. I could use some help over here. She shouldn't stand there, but she did. Nothing tries to blow up on you, it can one shot you. But I think there's another one too, actually. Might be coming up here. Score one for the good guys. The item I just picked up is really good for either Jean Grey or Emma Frost. Um, I will go ahead and give it to Emma Frost because she doesn't have a, a muscle accelerator. You get three focus and plus nine up to eleven damage to shot a creature and slow it will be extra play. So might as well put it to you. Very well. Okay. Hey, there's Eliana. We'll have to move fast if we're going to save her. Get away from her. Yes. Who's next? Really, really sorry about that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ileana, are you injured? Yet. I recognize you. You are X-Men. Friends of my brother, Peter. Yes. We're here to help you escape from the Astral Plane. Can you move? Da, you lead, I will follow. Good job, mission accomplished, but your work isn't done yet. So now we have to leave the astral plane and go to Weapon X. So remember how Cyclops said he had to take care of something, but wasn't going to be long? Well... It just so happens that... He... Has gone to meet up with Havoc. Looks very similar to the, to the side quest um, from Wolverine, doesn't it? Looks just like the place of Wolverine trash, doesn't it? After he came out of that tank. Sorry about that. So, 
Why on earth does Cyclops want to meet Havoc here? Interesting. I guess we'll find out. A little laggy today. Uh-oh. Uh My screen hasn't loaded yet. Um... Hopefully it'll load here. <laughs> or is this where I'm going to have to end my stream? I don't know. It's not loading. Oh, there we go. Okay. And Cyclops just leveled up, so I'm going to give him some points here. I'll put Vindicator's Gauntlets on him for extra experience on top of his leadership. Strategy 10 striking agility. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was so terrible. Sorry about that. Danger room. This. Uh, I can't get it. Okay, there we go. This might be the room that Wolverine came out of. Because this is the glass that he broke to jump through. I'm gonna spam my EP for a little bit because I can right now. Oh yeah, this is where he came out, right here. Came out, went that way, and went on his rampage. I haven't shown y'all Optic Rage yet. I'll show you real quick. Optic Rage. So that can be really playing. useful when you have you're surrounded and have a big group of people around you, that move is great. Kind of spamming it a little bit. <laughs> so remember the room earlier I told you all to remember? Here's why. So I'm gonna get Cyclops to get up there. And when we were doing Wolverine side quest, this is the room you want to remember. You couldn't come in here on his flashback, but you can now, and you want to pick this up. 30,000 experience. Game 
set and match. I'm gonna go back over there just to make sure I didn't miss it. Yeah. Yeah, I've got everything, so we're gonna move on to the next part here. So Havoc is here. Havoc and Cyclops are going to meet up. We're going to find out why shortly. That was a blast! An extra energy caplet if you need it, and then there's an extra caplet here if you need that. If you move the camera this way, you'll see there's havoc right there. Hello, big brother. There's Alex? no stopping me now. Or should I say, havoc? I answer to either name. Did you bring your ex-pals? I came alone, like you asked. There's a surprise. I thought your whole group was joined at the hip. Cut the small talk, Alex. What is this place? It's an annex for Department H, Canada's defense ministry. We got word they were running a secret facility here. Something to do with mutants. We? Yeah, I joined the Brotherhood. So that was you protecting Magneto from radiation at the Russian nuclear plant. Yeah, what of it? Alex, you've done some stupid things, but joining up with that bunch is just a... I knew you'd say that. Mom and Dad were human. Were they animals? And what would they think of you joining the Brotherhood? Mom and Dad weren't even in our lives, Scott. They dropped the ball, just like you. Go to hell, Alex! You first, big brother! What gives? You should be out cold! And you should have been knocked into the next province. Our powers are nullified because we're brothers, remember, Bonehead? Fine by me. I don't need plasma to take you down a notch. Oh, two brothers fighting. So, Havoc's little energy burst there, it can knock me back, but it does no damage. So I can't use any of my optic blasts, I have to fight him one on one. They really are battling now. <laughs> what are you running from? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you two ladies finished. <laughs> you said you came alone. I did. Wolverine, did you follow me? You Summers boys are a paranoid lot, you know that? No, I came here on my own. Why? 
Because little Alex here is right. They used to experiment on mutants at this place. Really nasty stuff. And if someone got the bright idea to start things up again... I'm here to permanently change their mind. Come on, let's check it out. So this is where Wolverine was headed. He knew something was up. He could smell it probably, knowing him. Looks like a bull elephant tore through this place. What happened here? Me. Makes no more sense when you find that side quest. There's a spot that I think we can go to. Is it this way? Yeah, that's okay. Kinda surprised this is still here. Come on, let's go see who else wants to play rough. Time you freaks learned a lesson! Sweet dreams, sucker. Okay, I need to level up Cyclops and I'll go ahead and level up Wolverine too. I think I get to do this right. Later. I don't think I really want to move that up anymore. I'll just put on the sharpness first. And perhaps we have three points. Well striking and agility, that's neat. I'll put two on object. Not the last one on leadership. Right. Yes, right. That's the sound that you hear. It's the sound of the sharpness of his claws now. So, and and per second of bleed damage, you'll hear that sound. It is kind of loud, but it's working. Now that we're at level 20, we can now carry 20 EP and HP tablets. Sorry about that. Think 
guess you didn't want a piece of me. Another one of those. I lost that that thing over here. I don't think so. We're just gonna have to run into it. Ooh, watch that thing. Gotta watch that that little gun he has. It can Who's next? catch you off guard. By the time you realize how much damage it does, you uh, are already KO'd. So definitely gotta watch your back from that guy. He's like you got him in one shot. He's working this dude over here. <laughs> oh, we got another one, so okay. Got it. If you pay close attention, um, Havoc also will say that was a blast like Scott does. It's so funny. It definitely are brothers. You can kind of tell the way they did like the audio cues too. So keep an ear out to see if he says it. <laughs> Tiny freaks, learn to listen. Everything back here? I think so. Okay. So there are a couple of danger room discs, I think, in this area, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Um, I already told you. Oh, there's one. I already told you about the 30,000 XP boost, so you want to make sure you remember that. Stuff this is where we're headed. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah. Carry 20 HP and EP caplets, and now you can have two extremes at one time. Now. So that's good. You can use them back to back if you want to. All 
rank. Yeah. Like, I didn't see nobody over there. <laughs> And stay down. <laughs> that's another one. Cyclops also says, again, stay down too. So that's cool. You got a chance to hear him say it. Right. They sound just like each other. It's great attention to detail. Case, I'm sure you all have noticed, Havoc doesn't like to move, so we kind of have to yes. go around and <laughs> if you're not careful, we can get you killed. <laughs> Spam my optic glass a little bit here. You ain't getting up from that. Okay. Take your bad beauty. Dude. Cyclops, what are you doing? Uh, is is that Cyclops? What are you doing? Time you freaks learned a lesson. Uh, okay. Keep together. I don't know what he was doing. Okay, anyway. Um... I'm on it. Havoc, dude, move. Will do. Just 
what I need. Okay. And Cyclops just leveled up. Okay, cool. Havoc dude, seriously. Time you freaks learned a lesson. All right, right. I don't care what you do to me. Just don't harm the Astral Gate. It is my life's work. What in blazes is an Astral Gate? I will tell you muties anything. One of the X-Men psychics could use their mental powers and rip the information from your mind, but it'd be very, very painful for you. You wouldn't. You couldn't. Yes, you would. It is a device that allows non-psychic people to enter the astral plane. So we could get the entire X-Men team on the astral plane? That would be very useful. You can't take this. I won't allow it. From the number of mutants you probably tortured to create the Astro Gate, I think we have more right to use it than you. And by the way, you really had nothing to fear. X-Men psychics never read minds unless they're given permission. Unless you're Emma Frost, but I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> you ain't getting them for me. Yes. Okay, so that thing took all of our energy, so um, I'm just going to use okay. one to a feral rage up with Wolverine and go destroy it real quick. Time you freaks learned a lesson! No! Don't forget about the extremes if you need to use them. Okay, so this section is called holding cells. Does that mean that they're keeping other mutants captive again like they did years ago? Time to find out. Time you freaks learned a lesson. Havoc is working, I do. Get him, boy. Get him. I do I'm finish the him best off. What I do. <laughs> All right, now you get less experience when Havoc KOs someone for you. But that was funny to watch. Uh, speaking of extraction point, I will do a save state. Will do. Okay. Sweet dream sucker. Um, is there anything else back here? Nope, I don't think so. Whatever you do, don't destroy that box by Cyclops. You want to keep that. So if you want, instead of needing a key card to get this sketchbook, you can just jump up here and get it. So 
sketchbook. And if you come to this door, it'll say, uh... Will do. Okay. Key card required, so you would have to find a key card to come in from the other side. But you can avoid it all together by jumping on that cardboard box. And get up there like that. They're holding people prisoner. Well, that can't be good. I don't have enough power. Oh, there's a thing there. Standing there on purpose, because there's an energy zapper there. I'm on it. Dude, have it move. Got it. I'm on it. Yeah. A lot of mutants locked up here. Gotta find out what's going on. Maybe you ought to stay down. Time you freaks learned a lesson. I'm on it. You can see that guy down there. Let's come back for him. One cell block, but there's another one. Find out where the other one is. Time you freaks learned a lesson. Sweet dreams, sucker. That's where you get that proximity card. No, but we don't need it now. We already been over there, so. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I was the next on the test list. What's going on here? They're experimenting on us. On, on mutants. They treat us like... like lab rats. Who's doing this? Department H? Canadian Secret Service? 
Uh, no, I'm pretty sure the general is American. A part of something called Operation Vigilance. What general? General Kincaid. He's the cold-blooded monster in charge of this slaughterhouse. He called mutants a plague. Said he was going to make sure we never threaten the security of mankind again. Where's Kincaid now? Oh, I don't know. I'm just glad he left. Oh, the horrors I've seen that man commit. Don't worry, it's over now. You're free. Wow. So General William oh, yeah. Kincaid is... No one standing in my way. He's going pretty crazy to do what he's doing. The horrors right. that the man has right. committed. Interesting choice of words. You're free. Leave. Don't stay there. The cage is open now. Come on. Will do. Yeah. Going right way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, we don't even have to bother with that one. Because we've already been back there. Now we just need to find the exit. I think. We've already done everything we can here. Let's head back to the mansion. We have to tell Professor X about this Operation Vigilance program. I'm not going with you. Why? Because you're part of the Brotherhood? You really should listen to what Magneto has to say, Scott. He intends to get mutants the respect they deserve. Magneto's a violent man, Alex. Do you realize that if Colossus hadn't been there, the new plant you and your friends visited would have had a melt- I didn't know the reactor had been damaged. No. This is war. A war for our freedom. Magneto said people would have to die before it was over. And you're never gonna understand. Goodbye, Scott. Let him go, Psyche. Let him go. Great job. Mission accomplished, but your work isn't done yet. Go back to the mail. Scott, it was horrible. Charles, it got Charles. Jean, Emma, calm down. Who got Professor Xavier? Shadow King. I felt his presence just before Professor Xavier helped us escape. Uh-oh. That ain't good. We have to get additional help and rescue Charles immediately. Both of you take it easy and tell me exactly what happened. Charles Xavier, I demand a word with you. <sighs> of all the times. Okay, people, let's split into... Oh, I cut the audio. So he was saying, let's split into two teams. Some of us will go meet Magneto and see what he wants. And then everyone else will stay and watch over the professor. So for this battle, I want to do... Magma. Magma. Storm. Storm. Colossus. Colossus.
All of that right away. Put one there, one there, one there, one there. If one has six points, then I'll put her at 27. So. Rapid Rage, Magma Form, Volcano, and Magma Fisher. Swarm also has six points, so I'm going to put her at Focus, Thirteen body, Thirteen lightning, lightning rage, and whirlwind. I did not call for his children. I want Charles Xavier immediately. The professor is not here, but we speak to him. Very well. You have undoubtedly heard of the torture chambers Havoc uncovered in Canada. This should prove to you that humans see us as little more than animals. We know that's what a few misguided monsters would do when filled with hate rather than reason. Yeah. Xavier has brainwashed the lot of you. There's also the small matter of a prisoner you've taken. You are free. Come and join your master. Oh, bloody lovely! I knew you'd come! He's the greatest, I told him! Magneto, don't forget about his loyal followers! No sorry! He's a stand-up bloke! He is a... Enough! Toad. Right you are, sir. <laughs> Magneto, why are you here? I came to offer you a chance to redeem yourselves as homo superiors. Join me. Battle lines have been drawn and the time for war draws near. Think about it. He's right. He has the power to create better lives for all mutants. He has the power to create a hell on Earth. I have restored my headquarters on Asteroid M. From there, I will create a new world order. One where Homo Superiors t Cease all mutant activity or face instant termination. Uh-oh. Get him. Well did. Yes. Okay. Yes. Got it. 
is all humanity has to offer us. Doesn't he ever shut up? Look! No! Main target acquired. Primary objective secured. With Kong. Follow them! X-Men, no! We need to regroup. Okay, so that's quite a lot to take in. So, Professor Xavier was taken by Shadow King. Uh, Magneto was taken by the Sentinels. By a massive amount of Sentinels, which I'm sure that when he finally recovers and wakes up, the Sentinels are going to be on losing end on that one. And not only that, um, there's... There's like a feeling in the air right now. So there's like too much going on. And um, now they need to find out what to do next. Should they go, should they focus on trying to find them out? Or should they go and save Professor Xavier? So with that being said, I think I'm gonna wrap up my stream here today. That's a good cliffhanger, so make sure you tune in next time when I uh, play this again. I'm not sure exactly when I will, but I will be sure to finish this game up here soon within the next couple of weeks. So um, if, uh, please let me know uh, how the audio was for the mic, how the frame was, how the frames were, of course. You know, drop frames are never a good thing, but of course they happen every now and then. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone again for watching and I will see you next time.